Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to quickly create woodwind fingering diagrams using the Legny family of fonts. First of all, let's go to the website legnyfont.com and you can read all about the uh, this project including downloads. Now if you wanted to try try out uh, one of these fonts before downloading you can use the uh, try it out tab which opens up a little web application but uh, I'm going to show you how to use the full thing. So let's go to download Now these fonts are completely free, however I did spend a good deal of time on these, so if you would like to contribute, well that's certainly very appreciated. Now there are a couple of different packages available, and it depends on what instruments you need to create diagrams for. Um, most people will only need to create diagrams for modern instruments, so flute, oboe, clarinet, saxophone, and bassoon. And for that you can just download the modern package. If you're interested in historical instruments you can also download the historical package or the complete package which contains all instruments. You can also download a single font if you are for example, a professional clarinet player, well, you probably won't have much use for the bassoon font. I'm just going to click the download button. And it'll download the fonts to my computer. Um, from here, the installation of the fonts depends greatly upon your operating system. Now I've um, included a few quick links to installation instructions for Windows or for Mac. If you use Linux, I'm going to presume you know how to install fonts. Okay, but I've already installed fonts, these fonts on my computer, so I'm going to open up a word processing app, word processing application, in this case Microsoft Word. Now, after installation, Legny should appear in the drop-down menu well, of any application that uses uh, word processing capabilities. Now I'm actually going to use a special version of the font, a demonstration font. It's kind of designed as a hybrid of all of the woodwind instruments. It's also the one that is available on the, or you can try out on the website. I'm also going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Okay, so now to actually creating the diagram. First of all, you want a blank woodwind diagram, a diagram without any keys colored in. And to do that, you just press the one key. And this will show the diagram with all keys shown with the exception of trill keys or uncommonly used keys. Now if you want all of those keys you can press shift one. So now we have in addition to the regular uh, hybrid instrument keys we have a oboe style first finger plateau key and a clarinet style sliver key. Now, if I wanted to customize these diagrams further, 
uh, customize the blank diagrams that is I can actually select individual keys so on this font for instance I can press 2 to show just the plateau key by itself or 3 just the sliver key by itself now all instruments are different so these will be a little bit different depending on which instrument you use for instance on flute one is a low B model shift one is the same model without or with trill keys two is a low C model shift two is low C with trill keys and three is piccolo or piccolo with trill keys and the other number keys four five six and seven display individual empty keys but let's go back to the demonstration font and start with just a basic fingering diagram. So after the blank diagram is entered you'll want to start indicating which keys are actually going to be depressed and you do this by using home row typing. Uh, if you took a typing class in a high school or elementary school uh, this is the type of typing they taught you where your uh, four fingers on each hand rest on home row so for instance the your left hand your left hand index finger should be resting over the F key and if I type the F key using this font then the tone hole or key for the first finger of the left hand on the woodwind instrument is uh, colored in showing that it's to be depressed likewise if I press the D key it's the second finger S and A. For the right hand keys, well your right hand first finger should be resting over the J key and pressing that key will indicate the first finger for the right hand and then so on. K, L, and semicolon. Now the other keys are programmed using the key on the keyboard most analogous to that key's position on the instrument. So the thumb key, here we have a clarinet style thumb hole, would be indicated using the V key, whereas the B key, which is directly above that, Sorry, whereas the, uh, the register key, which is directly above that, would be indicated using the B key. Like, likewise, we have a bassoon style pancake key here programmed to the comma, or the B flat key here programmed to M. Now, the row above home row is used for any secondary finger keys that that instrument might need. So here we have an oboe style F key in between the second and third fingers and if we kinda look at the keyboard for the key kind of in between the second and third fingers on, on the row above home row we have O and that does in fact indicate the uh, this F key P for this well I'm just gonna presume it's an E flat key based upon the, its position on the uh, saxophone okay so that's basic entry if a trill needs to be indicated well first of all the easiest or the best way to indicate a trill would be to actually color that note 
and I can do that uh, very easily just by changing the font color and then changing it back before I type any more so that would be trilling the first finger now the other option would be holding down shift on the note that needs to be trilled and that'll put a slash through the, the note now this would be useful if you're working in a black and white setting such as finale but personally I'm I'm a big fan of the uh, the colored note possibility now if you're interested in more advanced techniques you can actually do that by switching to italics so let's say I wanted a half hole for the first finger on the right hand well if I switch to italics and press J that finger is half hold now if a half hole is not possible on a given instrument for instance the saxophone you can't really half hole anything um, then these uh, the font doesn't contain those glyphs but if a half hole is possible then you can indicate that using Legni in fact not only half holes but if you go a row higher so instead of J if instead of J I hit U I have a three-quarters hole and if I go one note lower or one row lower in this case M I have a one-quarter hole now another common well not common but extended technique that you may want to enter is a ring fingering and you can enter these by once again using italics and hitting shift combined with whatever key you need the ring key to show up on so I'm gonna hit shift J and I have just the ring now on instruments where a ring or a half hole is a standard part of the technique for instance bass clarinet then you don't have to switch to italics to do the half hole so uh, the half hole of the first finger of the left hand is used for the um, the upper range of the bass clarinet and you can enter that just by using oops sorry R or on bassoon you can indicate a half hole for the first finger by hitting G and that should be more than enough information to get started uh, thank you so much for viewing this video and if you have any questions about the font any suggestions uh, please feel free to email me at legnyfont at gmail.com. Thank you.